Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Greetings, Alishan Mal here. This is one of the uh, custom paralift build order, and uh, this is the temporary thrust test stem. And we're going to test the thrust for two of these motors, and also see temperatures and endurance on 48 volt, 10,000 milliamp. Okay, so we shall select Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Here we go. Let's hope it doesn't flip up. Okay. Get some distance. Oh, it will fly away. <laughs> So I'm going to run it one more time and this time I'm going to see the thrust right here, okay? Twenty-six point three five kilograms of thrust. Okay, I can see the voltage drops slightly, so the battery voltage meter is working right now. I have to test it for 70 to 80 percent throttle and see what thrust I'm getting and uh, what is the endurance I will get. So the first thing I want to see is uh, how much thrust I'm getting on 70 percent throttle and 80 percent throttle. Here we go, this is the one I'm So on 70 to 80 percent throttle, we are getting the thrust in between 20 to 21, 22 uh, kilograms. Twenty-two point nine kilograms on eighty percent throttle. And hold on. Twenty kilograms of thrust on seventy percent throttle. So now I can run it on seventy percent throttle and see what is the endurance I'm getting. Once the batteries are low, I'll stop. So let me start the timer. Starting the stopwatch. Put it right here and start my test. Careful. So I have done four minutes of, uh, if you can see it hopefully, four minutes of uh, 80, 85, 80, 75 among this range throttle. And I have 65% of battery. Let me show it to you. So battery is 66%. Let's test the temperature, Arish. 45 degrees, okay. 45 degrees, controller. One moment, how much? Also 45 degrees. 45, is it? Okay, batteries. 31. 31. Batteries, connectors, on the connectors, focus on connectors. Not this one, the red one, red and black. Yeah. 31, 
31. So everything is in normal range. Now we're going to go, you know, again for four minutes or so. So the battery is at 50%. The stopwatch shows another 4 minutes 30 seconds to say. I forgot the 10 seconds. So 4 and 4, 8 minutes 30 seconds. That's 8 and a half minutes. And we still have 50% battery. Yep, how much? 55. Fifty-five, fifty-six. Okay, speed controllers. Speed controllers. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Oh, speed controllers are pretty, pretty good. Like they are really cool. Thirty, thirty-one nectars. Thirty. Now it's cooling down, of course. So, batteries are barely warm. And motors maximum reach to fifty-five degrees. Speed controllers maximum reach to, what was that, 31, 34? And batteries are also keeping cool. So everything is cool. Now, given this test, I believe I can easily conclude using 10,000 milliamp batteries. If you take off and then you just cruise, and I can tell you according to my own electric flight experience, you won't be cruising at 90 or 100% throttle. During the cruise, if you are using a parasailing glider canopy, you'll be cruising maximum on 60% throttle. I can tell you that's enough thrust for you to push and cruise relaxingly. And if you're using 60% throttle, you can easily get up to 20 minutes or more with 10,000 million batteries. And if you're going to use 80 to 85% throttle, given that my batteries are 50% still, uh, 49, 50%, after this test of eight and a half minutes, so that's half batteries used, double the time, give or take, 15 minutes are not going to be problem on 80% throttle, okay? So I'm going to conclude this test right here. Everything works perfectly. Everything is working very well. And uh, bag it and tag it and ship it out. Also, please do remember one thing, that while testing on a thrust stand, the thrust stand is not moving. It's putting all the resistance on the motors because it cannot move. And that is why motor will have slightly more temperature. But I can tell you once you are in the air, you are constantly moving. And most probably, as I mentioned, you won't be using 80% or more throttle. We'll be using less than 80, let's say 70 or 60% throttle. You are cruising and you are moving constantly. There's a constant airflow on the motors so motors will keep cooler than the temperature that i have shown you right here on the thrust stand on the ground so temperature will be lower and there will be more flight endurance because there isn't going to be any this kind of full resistance to stop the motor from moving you'll be moving in the air so there will be more cruising on lesser throttle it will be cooler motors and more flight endurance that you're gonna get out of this. This is my personal experience. On the ground, my own electric paramotor motor gets hotter as well, I can tell you, because we give it full resistance, cannot move any forward, and batteries die quicker. But in the air, it's another story. In the air, I have been cruising with my electric paramotor, single motor, on a 10% throttle only. Imagine that. You're moving forward on a 10% throttle only. So that's going to give you a whole lot of uh, flight endurance and also keeps the motor a whole lot of cool. So these things you must keep in mind. On the ground, the test results are different. 
in the air, it's a complete different story and sometimes even more surprising results. And next thing, of course, I'm going to put my crazy E-Glide V4 light combo on it and see how much thrust that thing is pumping out. Stay tuned for more testing of motors and thrusts coming your way soon. And of course, and of course, the electric paramotor flights. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button right there. Come on, don't be shy, just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.